Oh my god! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're doing really, really well. I'm starting off the vlog in the guest bedroom because we're going to be totally transforming this space over the next week or so. Uh, we've got carpets being fitted on Friday, which is really exciting. Today is Tuesday and I'm going to be set, I'm going to be filming the actual like room makeover makeover video of this in a separate video for you guys because else it will just get mixed up in all of the nonsense that I speak so this is more of a vlog but um, in order to get going with this room makeover I actually have ordered loads of bits from Wix, Screwfix, B&Q and some other places that I can't remember but yeah so in the back you might be able to see these two panels now in the office makeover I used these same panels except I used the shorter versions and they were unprimed in the guest bedroom that's why they were a green colour I don't remember ordering the primed ones but it's great for me especially because I'm going to be painting them a lighter colour so it will just mean that the paint goes on much easier but yeah these ones are the 1800 millimetres yeah I thought that that would be a nice feature on this side of the wall to have have the beaded panelling really quite high and then have some of that moulding going across the top because in this corner is going to be a bit of like the wardrobe space for this room so I've got the wardrobe that I thrifted a whole year ago can you imagine I was I'm in an R in for the last few months if I was actually going to end up using it but I think we are so I'm really happy about that I've got a little stool come in I've got a mirror I want to make a bit of an area here where people can hook their like coats or dressing gowns and stuff um, which is great. Also with this room, so I think in the last vlog I showed you guys that we couldn't get the skirt in and I trawled the internet to try and find the skirt that we've got here. I can't find it. If I had more time I could have sent off a section of it to a couple of companies who see if they've got it in stock, if it's one of their types and if they don't have it in stock and it's not one of their types they can actually create it for you bespoke to fit so um, but it costs a little bit more money however just for the ease of this project and because I know that I'm actually going to be able to reuse this coving in the dressing room when I do the makeup island and I'm going to use another bit of an offcut to complete Rob's office room I just went and ordered some skirting from B&Q that was really really similar but that I could just rip out everything that's in here and just lay it all fresh that's just going to be the easiest job in my opinion for this this project rolled and put downstairs and um, we're either going to take it to the tip or when the guys come on Friday to rip up the rest of the carpets and take them away we'll give it to them. A couple of things to mention we are really lucky in the sense that all of our skirting boards were previously glued on and that is how I will be refitting them as well and um, the, the kind of no nails that you get these days is strong enough to keep it to the wall as long as you use enough and if you really want to you can go in with a couple of nails or screws but it does mean that if you ever want to take it off in the future it's a little bit more difficult um, there seems to be some calculations and things on the floor so it's always best before you go screwing into the ground or anything just having a look around and see if there's anything that might indicate pipes so I know that on this side of this wall is the bathroom and it looks like they've mapped out some sort of trail and it looks like that might be where the radiator pipes go to as well so if I did ever need to do anything like screw a couple of the boards down or something which is what we will have to do because this room's not so bad but um, the wardrobe room especially is really squeaky in some places we would just make sure to use a detector make sure there's no pipes no electrics or anything that run underneath make sure we're just screwing down into a wooden stud to stop any creaking
Um, so I actually had quite a late evening yesterday trying to get the skirting boards on the wall. Some bits were quite fiddly and also I was just so tired I went and had a little lay down in the bed. Ended up reading my book for like two hours and I was like just get it finished Sade. So I had to drag myself back out, went and got it all finished and Rob and I finished the night off with the Domino's pizza as he came back from football. So it was a really nice evening. I woke up this morning feeling really proud that I got all the skirting done and today's mission is to try and get all the coving done. Now I'm hoping that from tomorrow um, my pieces that I've ordered to complete the room will start to get delivered like my wallpaper and stuff so that I can start to do all of that as well um but before I move back into the guest bedroom and continue on it I wanted to show you my blind so you might have seen this in last week's vlog I got my blind for the office from 24 7 blinds it's the it's like the Foxford Rambouillet something like that that is the style of material i've gone for with a plain white lining and i mean it's probably not going to show up very well on this camera because i don't this camera just hates when i have a window in the, in the room somehow so i'm hoping you'll be able to see it but this is how the office looks now it is finally like 100 percent complete i don't need to do anything else to it maybe apart from styling so i'm really hoping the camera is not going to kick off oh it's looking okay um this is how the office looks now oh i am just absolutely obsessed with it. I feel like the blind is the perfect addition as well. So we've got all of our lighting, I've got all of my styled pieces, and then the blind was the last thing that I was waiting on. Um, I'm hoping you can see the kind of material it is. It's this really gorgeous linen style, kind of like a cross between a linen and a hessian almost, maybe, but it's a lot lighter than a hessian. It's really super soft love the colour it's the perfect if you're wanting to add any sort of warmth to a room but don't know what to do i feel like this is like a baseline but yeah this is how the office is looking now and i've been sitting down in here and getting so much work done and just having such a lovely time sitting in here and um, i'm really happy with this room makeover so yeah that's it complete let me know what you think it's the next day what did i do yesterday yesterday i put all the combing up in the room i finished it so Rob helped me towards the end, so I made all of my cuts and I did a dry run of the whole thing. I started to glue it and Rob finished work. So it's so helpful if you have two people because you don't have to keep going up and down the ladder. So basically what we do is, he glues up the next piece I'm going to put in place whilst I'm putting the previous piece in place. So I can focus on getting it in place, pinning it with my nail gun. He's gluing it up and then he passes me up and he does the next bit, blah, 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 around the whole room. And it's just so much easier than me coming down off the ladder, gluing it up, walking up the ladder, da, 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 da. So yeah, we managed to get that done yesterday. This morning I woke up pretty early and got started on the room right away. I've painted all of the skirting. So um, it looks really nice. It looks so, so good. I mean, it comes pretty much painted and primed and everything already. So I just put a top coat in case you're wondering which paint I use, let me go get it. This is the paint that I like to use, any kind of satin wood. So this is the Mid Sheen Pure Brilliant White for Wood and Metal Quick Dry. So this one touch dries in two, recoat in six, and it dries in six. Um, I only think I'm gonna put one coat on on this, to be fair, because it already came, as I said, like primed and undercoated. This stuff's so good. It's not cheap but it's really thick so it lasts, if that makes sense. So I even used it on the windowsill. I went around, I did this room, I did a touch up in my office, I did our bedroom skirting, and I'm gonna do Rob's skirting in his office when he's finished work tonight, and just so that everything is tidy and fresh so that when the carpet's go in, I never have to worry about the skirting again. So it's a big job for now, but the future me will thank me. So yeah, I've got all the skirting painted. I'm now painting the coving and I'm just using the Leyland Walls and Ceilings Brilliant White Matte Paint for that. And um, because we've been painting all the ceilings, we've got massive tubs of these paints. So I'm just using the same paint as whatever Rob's put on the ceiling because I think I'm going to leave this coving white, at least for now, because uh, I'm going to be going in with the wallpaper. I think I'm going to leave it white in this room. So yeah, just touching it up with the paintbrush. I have noticed where I had to um, nail gun in the coving that are some little holes. So I'm gonna just give it one coat and I'm gonna go in to fill in any of the little holes and then give it a second coat later on today. Um, but one of the big projects I've got to do today and I have to do it today because the, the carpet is going in tomorrow is the wardrobe room. Now, this has gone through iterations, this wardrobe room. Um, we started off with white coving and white skirting and cream walls, peachy colored walls. And we changed to gray, 
combing, white skirting, still peach cuddles, and now we're just going to do everything in the greyish colour. So, in case you're wondering again, the colour that I used in that room is um, Brown Bunny by Valspar. They also have Brown Owl, which I think is a little bit warmer if you want something slightly warmer and less grey. I'm so tired. It is about nine o'clock at night. I have not stopped for about nine hours straight painting. My back hurts. I'm pretty sure I'm about to pass out from the fumes from the paint <laughs> and my house is carnage. But right, let's do a quick update before uh, the carpets go in tomorrow. So this is how our bedroom looks. I mean, this isn't gonna really look that different because the, we've got no decor in there. The carpet will just be a little bit lighter. Um, but we do need to take down that bed, like the headboard and ottoman. We need to kind of like shift everything from room to room when the carpet fitter is doing his thing. This is now the dressing room. And um, obviously it's the evening. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell from here, but I have got matching skirting and coving in this room, which I'm very happy about. And I have also painted the walls. Yes, this has taken me all day but i have painted the walls they're still drying a little bit because i've only literally just finished in the last 10 minutes um but i love them really really love them i think i just wish i did this from the beginning to be honest but it's all good yeah really really love it tomorrow we're gonna have to try and shift these drawers now so this is what i mean every time i say that we have to move i was, wasn't able to create these drawers before the carpets went in because it's two separate pieces Obviously that doorway is only so wide. I had to make sure that I was able to pull these apart in order to get them out of the room. But now that the carpet's gonna be laid here tomorrow, I'll be able to kind of have this as a project in the next few weeks, which is exciting. I wanna get a like piece of marble or some sort of stone slab, or I would actually prefer like a really lovely wooden, like walnut veneer sort of type top. So if you know anywhere that does that, do let me know. Otherwise I'll have to figure it out. Um, the office is pretty tidy. I had to take my blind off um, because I had repainted the window yesterday, um, this morning with some of the satin finish paint. I had to take the blind off, but yeah, I can't wait for this floor to be a different color as well. I think the flooring, especially in this room because of the green, it just really brings it down. Whereas when we've got the brighter carpet, I think it's just gonna elevate everything so much more. And then this is guest how the guest room's looking now. I've painted all the coving, I've filled in all the edges, the skirting is all in place and painted and looks pretty good if you ask me. So yeah, I just can't wait to get the carpet in here and then I've got to put those boards up on the wall. I didn't have time today because I'm going to have to cut them down. Um, I didn't have time, I've literally run out. It's the end of the night and I'm not doing anything else. Rob's been a darling and he's just brought down everything that was in this hallway. I had all of my tools laid out here all of my colt guns, I had my mitre saw, we had random furniture and stuff, so he's just starting to bring it all down and out to the garage tomorrow. And that's gonna be good for the guy who's fitting the carpet because he'll be able to kind of maneuver around the area. So yeah, the plan is for tomorrow, depending on which room the fitter wants to go into first, um, we'll just move stuff from room to room. So at the minute we've got this room empty, Rob's office is empty as well. I don't think I ever really show you Rob's office, but um, it's just currently got the sofa in here and then i'll show you he did the skirting himself because i ran out of time but he did a really good job so he just had a tiny little section in this section here of skirting you can kind of see the joint but honestly it's literally nothing i think we're just going to do a final run of paint along this bit of skirting here just to um 
make sure it's super tidy because it does look a bit yellowed but yeah okay you're in my cupboard at the minute so <laughs> i hope this works um yeah it's been a long day and i'm feeling for something sweet now i just wanted to share i made these double chocolate chip cookies from jane's patisserie's book over Christmas time, uh, they were the Christmas pudding cookies that have like a dipped in sugar with the embellishment on and I made a huge roll of it as extra that I just didn't cook and then I put it in the freezer and I haven't thought to go and touch them for like what six, seven, eight weeks and then I spotted them in there the other day but it was just like this huge roll, think of like a black pudding or something, that's what it looks like but essentially you keep this in the freezer, when you want a little treat you take your knife cut into it, pop some parchment paper into the air fryer and then you take your two little, they really do look like black puddings. <laughs> I've got paint all over my fingers as well. I wonder if there's ever going to be a time in my life where there's just not just paint and dirt all over my clothes <laughs> at least once a week. But yeah, you take your black puddings, they're not really their cookies, you pop them in and I think Rob said he wants one, I'm going to do him one. You have to be careful when you cut them though because it's obviously solid, it's frozen and it's like got chocolate chips in there so it's just got solid bits of chocolate. Just be careful to control the knife, don't want any accidents. Yeah, pop them in the air fryer and then guys I'm getting better with my air fryer business. Remember in the last vlog I was having absolute nightmares of cooking things. Um, so I actually do them on bake and I put the temperature down to 160 and I put the time at 12 for those. I like to bake low and slow in the air fryer as opposed to like fast. I feel like everyone thinks the air fryer is so fast, so fast. But yeah, it can be, but it just burns your food. <laughs> so I still like to do it a bit low and slow. And it turns out just right. So yeah, I'm going to have that. Today's Thursday. So we're actually going to go and watch The Apprentice in bed probably on plus one because so we'll not be ready until about 10 p.m and then in the morning we're going to have an early start and start to really properly clear out some of the rooms ready for the carpets to go in i feel like i haven't i feel like i haven't actually deep that the carpets are going in because i've just been so frantic for the last few days with getting everything ready i feel like when it's actually in i'm going to be like oh my god but yeah i hope i still like the color that i chose <laughs> i'm sure i will I'm sure I will. But yeah, exciting day tomorrow. So I'll see you then. absolutely manic so I've got to go around and hoover all of this now but I just wanted to show you a quick sneak peek of how the rooms are looking I'm absolutely obsessed so the sun is on this side of the house at the minute so the carpet looks much brighter in here and this room just looks brighter in general um but I just love it so much we've put the bed back in place we've put my office back in place and um, I'm about to hoover and clean up the dressing room how unreal is this? Can I just give you a little close up of the wardrobe colour, skirting and the carpets all next to each other? Please tell me that that looks good on camera. How dreamy and creamy is that? Oh, I'm so, so happy. I love, love how this room looks. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is get the ladder shelf back in place and then Rob and I, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, are gonna 
put oh you can't see what i'm doing sorry i don't know if that just went a bit funny there but we're going to put the ladder shelf back in place and we're going to mount the really large mirror that we've got i think it's because there's nothing to focus on here but yeah we're going to mount the large mirror back on this wall and then that'll be this room finished and um, in case you're wondering one of the best hoovers ever this is a McAllister hoover from it being cute it's like 50 pounds it's one of those ones that you have to put the insertable bags inside the dust bags and um, but it's such a good renovation hoover but even not even just for renovations it's such a good hoover full stop um, it just sucks everything up like rubble dust and if it does get jammed it's really easy to unjam it's also a waterproof um not waterproof you can basically use it in water as well so if there's like flooding or a little puddle you can suck that up um, and you can also use it as a blower if you invert invert something inside it. i mean i've never done that but yeah you can use it as a blower too it's a pretty nifty hoover so yeah just saying um but yeah this is now the colour of the carpets. This is obviously our old hallway one, but this one won't be finished. This carpet won't be finished until we rip out the bathroom. But look at that. Look how lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I'll show you Rob's office really quickly. He's doing a little tidying up in here at the minute. He's got his shoe shelves up, which we just popped up today, which he loves. He's loving this room, aren't you? Yeah, you need to get a picture real up, in it? A couple of shelves. Yeah, so we've ordered a picture rail from Argos, same as what I put in my office, and we're going to run that there, and he's going to put some of those pictures up. In case anyone doesn't know, that's Baby Groot with the Supreme <laughs> T-shirt on, put on his new uh, Jordans. His new shoes. As you can see, Rob is quite the uh, trendy fanatic, so he's got all of his favourite shoes out on display, and um, then we've got some more shelves which are going to go in that corner so he can put up his books and whatnot, and... This room will be developed over time, but it's a bit of a man cave, so Don't yeah. be trying to justify like my room, it's <laughs> developed. <laughs> no, it is developed. developed. Um, but this is just so cozy. How unreal is it walking on the carpet, by the way? Yeah, yeah literally. It's just like, glass. oh, you just take for granted some things, but this is just heavenly. So, so good. I honestly didn't think that I would feel such a difference so quickly. Sorry, I'm sneezing because there's a bit of dust in the air, but I don't think that I would feel such a difference underfoot so, like, instantly. No, I know. I'm the same. Like, because, um, especially when you're not thinking about walking into the room and trying to feel how soft it is, when you just walk in, obviously our bodies are just used to a certain feeling at the minute. So when you walk onto, like, a little cloud of fluff, you're like, oh, this is a nice feeling. But we're just, oh, so happy that... Art, like all the rooms are done but especially now that when people come and stay they've got a nice place to sleep so nice good morning i'm excited today i'm going to an event that i have never been to this kind of event before i'm actually really really nervous as well because it's um it's called a it's a gala and it's a red carpet gala and there's apparently going to be like cameras and stuff there i don't think it's anything as big as like you know TV sort of galas and all of that stuff but I don't know I'm still a little bit nervous because I know it's weird I know I film myself and I put myself online but I just feel like I'm just talking like to my friends whereas I feel like there's gonna be like cameras and there's potentially gonna be like interviews and stuff at this place and I'm honestly just gonna avoid all of it so I'm just gonna like hide in the corner I don't know anyone going I've reached out to a couple of people in my like social group on Instagram that I know and no one seems to be going so i'm just a bit like oh, okay but i'm not gonna let that stop me because i've let that stop me in the past and i've regretted it and i'm feeling quite sociable today and um yeah i've done a little bit of a sense check of everything and i've treated myself to a little hotel in london and we're gonna stay in london overnight so rob's not actually here at the minute he's on a ski trip with his friends and i have been doing the guest bedroom makeover for about a few days now well about a week but i was doing wallpapering yesterday and i thought i just need a little bit of a break so i booked myself a hotel in earl's court which is near kensington in london it's quite a nice area not anything bougie i'm literally staying in a primary inn but the checkout's at 12 the check-in's at three so i'm gonna go and catch the train today at one i'm gonna check in and i'm gonna get myself glam for the event i've got myself quite a cute dress i am a little bit obsessed with the dress not gonna lie i hope that when i've done my hair and makeup and everything it all pulls together and um, but i am also going to be freezing because it is a mini dress and it's a bandeau as well so freezing is not the word but it's made of that tulle material uh so yeah 
We're going to that event, which is super exciting. Hopefully I'm gonna make loads of new friends, speak to some brands and just have a really fun night and that's all I can do. And then I'm gonna go back to the hotel and eat loads of snacks, wake up in the morning, just sit in my bed and just like do a little bit of work, just have a chill lie-in morning. And then my train isn't until one o'clock the next day. So check, in, check out isn't until 12 either. And it's only like half an hour from the hotel to King's Cross station. So I'm gonna have a quite relaxed day, but tomorrow I actually have an electrician coming around just, just to sense check everything that I've done in the house so far, just to put my, my peace of mind and to get something called a um, small works certificate. I think that's what it's called, a small works certificate. He's gonna sense check everything, give me that certificate. And yeah, that's it. And then, and then over the weekend, I wanna finish wallpaper in the guest bedroom and basically finish it. I want it finished or it done and um, Sunday is Mother's Day so mum's gonna come round and dad's gonna come round and we're gonna have a bit of a chill day make some food and mum loves gardening and it's starting to get a little bit warmer we did have a little bit of frost this week but I'm just gonna start to plant some of my bulbs because I'm waiting too long now I just want to get some stuff in the ground so that I can have pretty garden what a day I've had so I went about my morning and I went to Blank Street and I got myself a blueberry matcha hot drink it was so good it literally tastes like a blueberry muffin dreaming about it I'm definitely gonna get it every time I go past their place in London and then I went over to Wingstop and I had a very big lunch because I hadn't eaten for probably nearly 24 hours which is really bad like I'd had little bits in the evening but not a proper meal so I went in and I got eight chicken white wings, four chicken tenders or three, four chicken tenders and then some fries, ate the whole thing to myself. I was stuffed. Um, I thought it was going to be much nicer than it was. I think in America they still have all the like E numbers and the bad stuff that we're not allowed over here in the UK so um, it didn't taste as good as I wanted it to be. It kind of just tasted like any old chicken shop wings and chicken tenders but it was nice. I'm glad to have had it. Then anyway I'm like having a leisurely morning. I'm like, I've made great time. It's before 12, I jump on the train, the tube, and um, I'm heading over to King's Cross so that I can make my time with, so that I can make my train with ample time left. And then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna read my Kindle because that's what I did on the way there. 20 minute tube journey, read my Kindle, get a couple of chapters in or a chapter or something. And I'm like, where's my Kindle? <laughs> where's my Kindle? No, seriously, where's my Kindle? Um, my Kindle was not on my person and I didn't necessarily panic because I knew immediately as soon as I thought my Kindle, I was like, I've left it underneath the duvet. So I looked in my bag and I was kind of like, oh, it's not gonna be here. I know for a fact I've left it under the duvet. So last night when I got in at like 2 a.m., I decided it was a good time to read my book. I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and it's going really well. So I wanted to read it, but I was so tired. I think I read about three sentences and passed out. Then this morning I reached for my phone and I felt my Kindle underneath the duvet, but I just only pulled my phone out. And then I got myself ready and I left and everything. And I just totally forgot about it. Anyway, so I got a bit flustered. I was like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I leave the Kindle? Do I sacrifice it and just make my train? Do I go back and sacrifice my train and hope that my Kindle's there? Do I ring them? What do I do? Try and get them to send it up? Anyway, I decided to just get off the train and go back and get it because it had only been a couple of hours. I knew that the ladies were cleaning the rooms because I'd walked past them and I just hoped that they were nice enough to hand it in. Anyway, I got back to the hotel because I was only a couple of stops away. And as soon as I walked through the door, the guy was like, have you forgotten something? I was like, yes. And he was like, here you go, here's your Kindle. He was like, we tried to ring you, but um, they were ringing the room next to me's number. So that's why I didn't get a call, else I would have been able to go back and make it in good time in. 
which was a little bit annoying. So anyway, I was just really happy to have my Kindle back. It's, there's nothing like, like I could have probably bought another one, but they're expensive. Also like my Amazon account is linked to it. And it's like, you know, when something is yours and you're like, yeah, but it's got like all the little bumps and bruises on it that makes it mine. And it's got my little case on it, my little hand thingy. So anyway, I was really happy. That was a really long winded story, but made it onto the train, had to buy another train ticket. So in the end, 30 quid down the drain, but it just means I've had a relatively easy going day still so anyway then remember I was meant to have the electrician round because I'd like offset my day by a good half an hour I'm on the train still down from London and it's already delayed and he's ringing me and I'm like oh my god so I text him I was like I'm so sorry like I don't want to mess you around I'm so sorry I'm stuck on a train from London he was like don't worry about it I'm just sat outside doing paperwork anyway I'll see you in a bit anyway got here let him in, walked him around, told him the, the deal with the socket. So basically, if you don't know, I put a reel up on Instagram the other day of me changing my sockets. It wasn't necessarily a tutorial. It was, I got so many DMs of people being really interested in how to do it. I know you guys are DIY people as well. And I put up this reel just to show the process of how generally um, okay it can be to change a socket and how it kind of goes. And I got really lovely messages, but then I got a few that were basically making me a little bit anxious so I took the reel down and it's gone I don't want to promote anyone doing electrics themselves so this is a note to you if you were considering doing it honestly if you've got no experience it's just not worth it don't do it just get a professional in because um, what I realised is there's a series of tests that you've got to do afterwards that you literally go and study for these things so like all well and good me plugging in my little socket testing and being like yeah that's working but there could be some funny business going on in the circuits that I can't see and I don't understand and that could be a potential danger in the future but anyway I walked around this with this guy he's called William right and I genuinely want to shout him out because he was so lovely he's called William and he is from it's from your electrical solution Peterborough and he's called William he is so lovely but he asked me what I did I showed him the tools that I use he opened one of my sockets and had a look and he was like honestly you're fine you've done it correctly Correctly. the only thing I would say is you do need to get your minor work certificates just to give you peace of mind that's made me feel so much better but he also was like you've smashed it like well done honestly it's good work so that made me feel really good as well so then I've just sat down with my phone and I'm starting to get messages on Instagram from people being like I'm watching you on the TV <laughs> And I'm really embarrassed now. So basically, last year, I um, was invited to go on the show Clean It, Fix It. And um, it's a DIY slash cleaning show where they go in, where the, where the gang go into people's houses and they help to share tips on how to clean things with like natural um, remedies. And then also show like how you can DIY your spaces to make them more functional or a little bit easier for working with your family and stuff. And they invited me on. And honestly, it was such an intruder syndrome, imposter syndrome moment because I was like, no, like that's not, I can't, me on the TV, like, no, surely not. But they wanted me on, I psyched myself up and I did it. It was honestly the most anxiety, driven moment of my life and I've been dreading the moment it comes out on TV because I'm just like cringing but I'm also a little bit like eager to see it so we're gonna watch it it's it on BBC it's called clean it fix it I'm gonna try and find the episode of it now it's so weird because obviously I do YouTube and I do Instagram and stuff and I'm that's obviously like a kind of different format of media but I can watch those back most of the time but that's because I filmed it so I can kind of direct and produce them how I want them to be whereas this was totally out of my control and just like out of my hands and I just feel I honestly feel sick I actually feel so sick watching this let's watch it together oh my god guys I feel sick I'm excited but I feel sick as well this is a busy day today and we've got Sade to give us a hand oh my god stop clean and deep cut than usual Reinforcements. Have a look. Busy bathroom. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be rehomed that's probably not suitable for a bathroom. Yeah. yeah. The shower looks like it's got a bit of a My issue God. with the leak. They haven't used the bath for ages, so they're overcompensated with the shower. Gonna be needing some help. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I did it funny! Realizing the family's belongings across Sade will create order from chaos, boxing up the family's stuff and moving outdoor items to the shed. Guys, honestly, I cannot explain to you how much stuff 
like it it was like you'll probably see like honestly go and watch the program but can you see all of that section there I wasn't able to start that until the afternoon and you kind of like take one layer off so you take one box and there's like five boxes underneath it and then inside those boxes there's just so much stuff and the family obviously because they're not sorting through it themselves they didn't want us to throw anything away or donate anything so I really had to try to organize chaos it was literally like I can't get rid of anything because what I would do would be to take everything out or the majority out go through things, box things up, label them appropriately and put them back in. But that's like a day's worth of a project. I literally had an afternoon to do this. I'm gonna start putting everything into categories. So we've got big electricals, then we'll move over to the back side of the wall. Oh, my makeup looks bussing though. <laughs> I remember that morning I woke up quite early because my call time was like 7 a.m. or something. I had to wake up at like ridiculous time and I was like, my makeup has to hit. So I really took my time with that beauty blender. <laughs> Longest day ever. I'm exhausted. Well, you can go home now. Put your feet up and relax. Because you've earned it and you've done really well today. I'm definitely going to. See you later, boys. <laughs> We're coming too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave us behind. <laughs> oh my god. Are you joking me? As ah, guys! No, too shy, too shy. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe <laughs> That was so good! Oh my god. No, why was that so good? I'm literally grinning like a Cheshire cat. I've been so nervous for that to come out because I just felt so awkward about it. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm really awkward on camera and when I can't edit it. Oh, I don't know, but oh, it was so much better than I thought it was gonna be. How exciting, but honestly, how good were the transformations? 100% suggest going and watching that show as well because there's so many tips for cleaning and for uh, doing like storage and DIYs and making good use of space in your home. And they're just really bubbly people, really friendly and just such good vibes. It's such a like light-hearted, good feel sort of program. Oh, I'm buzzing! Ah! Well, I can officially say that I've been on TV, which is crazy. Oh, I'm not gonna stop grinning now. I'm gonna read through all your lovely messages as well and get back to them, but oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> Yay, oh, I love that. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap off this vlog. I think that's the end of that. We'll end it on a high, which is exciting. Um, I'm still doing the guest bedroom makeover, so that's gonna be a video in the near future. This weekend is actually Mother's Day and I've got my mum and my dad coming over to spend the day with me and I, although I think they're going to like it, I'm going to put them to good use. So I've said we're going to plant some bulbs and do some gardening because the weather's meant to start to get a little bit warmer so it's not going to be totally freezing outside. And I really, really want to get some plants in the ground so that this spring and summer the garden just blooms and looks gorgeous. So um, yeah. We've got that to look forward to. But anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you got to this part of the video. And be sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bells, and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok too. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I honestly can't believe that. My mum is gonna honestly scream when she finds out that I've been on a TV show, because I don't think I told her. She didn't know when it was coming out. She's gonna be screaming. <laughs>